The ruling National Democratic Party, NDP, led by Premier and Finance Minister Dr. D. Orlando Smith, has been under increasing pressure from a disenchanted electorate since retaking office in June 2015. Some residents, including party faithful, are of the view that the NDP and by extension its administration is aloof, secretive and lacking leadership. There is also widespread speculation that the discontent on the outside, further compounded by infighting, could trigger a snap election and possibly the early retirement of Dr. Smith. Meanwhile, editorial cartoons often depict the Premier asleep on the job, and during his midterm report broadcast on July 10, Dr. Smith conceded that his administration has made some mistakes over the six years they've been in office. But what are those mistakes, and what does he plan to do about it? In all cases, we have sought to spend your taxpayer dollars with local businesses and local people. Where necessary, we have partnered with companies and organizations from abroad, but only after we have made so that the benefits of doing so would be felt by your people. We know that we have not always been perfect in our efforts. Not every dollar invested has realized two dollars a return. As is the case in all human endeavors, mistakes have been made. In particular, we have not done enough to communicate at all times the people of the territory about our efforts and that is something we will fix with more regular updates and communications. Dr. Smith's administration has been harshly criticized by some residents alleging corruption, greed and mismanagement. However, he reminded residents of his party's commitment when it was founded in 1999. He asserted that the highest duty of government is to use the people's resources wisely and strategically and to build a strong foundation for prosperity and in doing this his administration has made some hard choices. We pledge not to use the people's money to simply create handouts for those with the right connections. We pledge not to spend recklessly without hope for future returns. We pledge not to waste your tax dollars, but rather to put them to work for your benefit. And we have worked hard to fulfill that commitment in every budget, in every piece of legislation, in every expenditure, every single day. The Premier said his administration has invested more than any other government towards the development of the territory and outlined those areas. We have invested hundreds of millions of dollars to improve our tourism industry, to promote and protect the financial services sector, to build up our local businesses, to improve our health care, our schools, our roads, our water and sewage systems, our electricity and our air and sea ports. We have spent money on getting direct air access to and from this territory. We have built clinics and community centers. We have hired teachers and provided necessary resources for police force. 